Performing medical care on the battlefield is a critical skill for any military occupation specialty. At Army Support Activity Fort Dix, soldiers from a variety of backgrounds train and retrain as combat lifesavers. We just all new soldiers put together. Um, none of us been uh, worked together before. Uh, we all just thrown together for this class, and I think the team executed pretty well. Uh, one of my lowest ranking uh, personnel, specialist Haley, was in charge and I think he did an awesome job uh, for the first time. I think given all the challenges we were giving, you know, the group working together for the first time and all of us being from different backgrounds and, you know, different MOSs, I think we did very well and I learned a lot. Sergeant First Class Everett has joined a group of reservists from various units who are deployed to Kuwait. They will provide chemical, biological, nuclear and radiological support to Central Command. Another small unit from the Northeast, the New York National Guard's 4th Finance Detachment, is on its way to Afghanistan. It's repetitive, so we do the trainings over and over, and I think it's really going to prepare me, and I'm, I think if I do come across it now, I'm going to Afghanistan, freshly out of um, AIT, I think I'll be prepared for it, and I'll be ready. At Fort Dix, soldiers train and retrain combat lifesaver fundamentals in a realistic environment. A lot of us have never actually done this type of task before, uh, so we have a matter of hours to put it together, um, so there's no time for major rehearsal. Um, but I think overall uh, we overcome those challenges and we're able to make it to the end. Reporting from Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Rich Stowell, 128th MPAD, Utah Army National Guard.